I just heard on the radio. There was an incident at the pool of St. Edmund Hall last night, and they mentioned another one at Horsepath Track the night before. What happened at the pool? I want you to go over there immediately and find out what happened. Exactly what happened. I want a detailed report. You want me to investigate? Well, I can't go. You'll have to be my eyes and ears, Sam. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Go! You're up early. Give me two shakes and I'll have your breakfast ready. Can't. I'm off to Oxford right now. At your age, you need a good breakfast. I'll grab something at school. Thanks, though. You're sweet. <laughs> Americans. <laughs> It looks like another paper was left this morning. Why do I get the feeling someone wants David to find out about these incidents? This article seems to be well known. I hope Dr. Stiles didn't set himself up for a con by professing his belief in the paranormal. Hi, Mephistopheles. Miss Everett, how kind of you to visit. I need to talk to you about something. Be my guest. I finished the betrayer's price. Did you? Congratulations are in order. You might want to check the box again. One never knows. I'll do that. Twenty-one. That did it. It's the Sea Railer Swole Riddle from the Black Wand. I need to pay for some items. There you go. Your patronage is appreciated. Good day. Bye. Smile for the camera, Samantha. Uh, hi. I knew you were a magician. I was just window shopping. Yeah, right. They have some great stuff in there. I got some fake vomit for a film scene last week. Lucky you. What are you doing here anyway? Were you following me? In your fantasies. Your hot, fevered, sign-me-up fantasies. When do we start? <laughs> Forget it, Kinderman. And you didn't answer the question. I was just shooting some B-roll. But excuse me for breathing. My mother never did, but that doesn't mean you can't. Hey, check out those eyebrows. Classic.
This new riddle sounds like it's about Alice in Wonderland. Maybe I'd better check this out. Hi, I was wondering if you can tell me about some of the locations around Oxford that were used in Alice in Wonderland. Sorry, I only work here. I'm not an expert. There are postcards on the postcard rack for some of the locations. Okay, thanks. Not a lot of help there. There are Alice in Wonderland sites around Oxford, so they're probably the locations in the game. The card says, Alice's long neck in the Wonderland story was inspired by the fire dogs in Christchurch Hall. Dodo birds. I remember them from Alice in Wonderland, but I don't know what they have to do with Oxford. A street map of London. I'd really like to have one of those. I'd like to get this map, please. It's five pounds. Thank you. There are subtle letters on those teeth. Maybe they act like a combination lock. But what's the code? That perfect face whose smile to own. Hmm. Got it! The University Museum. It must be a location in the game. They've got pretty cool stuff in here, but I've learned to travel light. Maybe someday I'll have a place to put things. I love that mix of old and new architecture. when dinosaurs ruled the earth. Is that a dog or wolf? Were they ever that big? Unreal. Goofy looking, but cool. It sucks that it's extinct. The Daedalus Club logo. This is a game device. I'll just borrow this until I figure out how to open it. Man, do I feel stupid. That actually worked! It's a piece of the ideogram. Hogwarts? I guess part of the movie was filmed here. But where on campus? I should put the egg back before I leave. This may sound like a silly question, but do you know of a place called Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in Oxford? That is silly. Hogwarts is a fictional school attended by Harry Potter. Okay, not good. 
The Harry Potter films were shot on location in Oxford. Really? Where? Numerous sites. You might recognize Christchurch Hall as Hogwarts Dining Hall. Wow, you really are helpful. Thank you. I do try. The dining room is closed today, for paintings restoration, it seems. I may have to finish this riddle tomorrow. Hang on there, miss. Over here, please. Hi. You need to show me a student ID before you're allowed anywhere in this building. Oh, okay. Here's my ID. Let's take a look. Helena, that's a beautiful name. Beautiful name, beautiful girl. Thank you. Seems to me we've got another Helena in residence. Let me see. Don't bother. I know her. Red hair, nice girl. Can I go up now? I'm running late. <laughs> Aren't they all? Go up then. Undergrad wing only, though. That way, only grads are allowed up on their side. Oh, all right. There's always a hierarchy, miss. Way of the world, isn't it? I did a good job replacing the photo. It looks pretty convincing. It wouldn't pass a cop test, but then it shouldn't have to. The pool looks normal now. The clock was stopped at 11.42. That's about when the incident occurred. Nifty trick. I wouldn't want those guys staring at me while I worked out. That looks like a statue I saw in Copenhagen. Sort of. The water was really purple. I think I'll hang on to this. Flops with socks. He looks more like a German tourist than a pool man. Hi there. I see the pool is back to its usual color today. Yeah. How'd you get the dye out? When whatever was in there, I felt was got it out by morning. Did anyone take a sample of the water while it was stained? What for? Um, to analyze it? It don't matter, it's out now. Yeah, that scientific inquiry thing is highly overrated. Are these filters the new ones? No, I've just installed the new ones. Those are for the bin. Were these filters in the pool when the water was stained? Yeah. The filters don't have dye stains. Maybe water-soluble dye wouldn't leave a trace. The sides of the pool are clean. I don't see any residue left by the dye. Did you notice any sign of tampering with the pool controls? Maybe evidence of someone putting something in the input system? No. That's helpful. Thanks. That guy has the curiosity of a meatloaf. I'm not going to get anything out of him.
Jeannie Smith is the girl who was at the pool last night. I wonder if she talked to me. Someone's been busy. Guess it's break time. I think that's St. Edmund Hall's crest. A roll of toilet paper and nail polish. Home manicure, perhaps? I guess those are for ventilation, or odor control. Yes? Hi, Jeannie Smith? Yes. Hi, I'm Sam. I heard about what happened last night. I know I don't know you, but I wanted to ask you about the pool, if that's all right. Are you a reporter or something? No, I'm actually worried about a friend of mine. Can I come in? I guess it's all right. You said you were worried about a friend? Yeah. My friend is kind of a well-meaning prankster. I'm worried that this might be his doing. I'm really hoping not, but I wanted to hear more about it. I don't know anything about your friend but I can tell you this was not a prank. Are you all right? Yes, sorry. Soccer players, I guess, and swimmers. Someone loves the bulky guys. Bed looks good. Not as good as my bed at Dreadhill House, but not bad. I'm pretty sure they have some of those in their gymnasium. A jock's room, no doubt. Apparently, there are no amateurs. These dorm rooms are pretty nice. Then again, it's all rich kids here. Can you tell me exactly what happened? I was getting ready to get into the pool. I was putting on my cap and thinking about something else, a paper that's due, suddenly, the hair on my arm stood up. The air got very dry, almost as if the air was filled with electricity. I looked around, trying to figure out what it was. And then I saw it. In the water. It was awful. What did you see in the water? No one believes me. I can't even describe it. Can you try? I'll believe you. There was... It was like a shape under the water. You know how water is displaced when there's something moving through it? Only, there was nothing there. It was a human form, in the water, but it wasn't there. God, I know it sounds insane, but it was evil. I felt it. I'll never go near that pool again. I don't even want to be in this building anymore. I want to go home. The shape in the water. Could it have been dye being pumped into the pool? It was dyed purple according to the paper. No, that happened later. I saw the shape go all the way to the far end and then turn around, just like a swimmer doing laps. And then the water slowly changed color. Like this thing, this presence was staining it. I'll never forget it as long as I live. What time did this happen? I left to go down there about 11.30. It wasn't long after that. Maybe 10 or 15 minutes. How many people were in the pool at the time? Just two girls, swimming. They were already in the water when I got there. I... I yelled at them to get out. Hmm. Did you know them? I've seen them swimming before. Look, they had nothing to do with it. They were as terrified as I was. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about it anymore. That's cool. Thanks for being honest with me. Listen, it's none of my business, but you mentioned leaving school. Don't do that. Do you know how lucky you are to be going to this school? Seriously? I know you were scared. 
but I'm sure this was a prank. Even if it was a sophisticated one. It wasn't aimed at you. You just happened to be there. Don't let it ruin an opportunity like this. It's so not worth it. I know you're right. Thanks, truly. I'll see you. Someone is rigging these tricks, and it's starting to piss me off. Well, it's not going to happen again. Tonight's experiment takes place in the gym at St. Edwin Hall. I'm going to be there, and I'm going to catch whoever's doing this. I'm... Hi, this is Sam. St. Edmund Hall Quad, now, Chiquita. Uh, sure. Be right there. I guess they heard. Hey, there's the wench. I vote for drawing and quartering her. Everybody in? Leave Sam alone. We all made our own decisions to join the experiment. Not me. I was played like a fish on a line. Like that would be hard. What do you know about the pool, Sam? I know you shouldn't jump to conclusions. At least not yet. Too late. I'm already deep, deep in conclusion land. It really is too bizarre. For God's sake. Once might have been a coincidence, but twice. It's getting a little frightening. I'm not at all sure we should go back tonight. My mum wouldn't like it. What if we're implicated in these pranks, maybe even expelled? Well, I find it exciting. That is, uh, we might actually be doing something. Besides, Dr. Stiles is counting on us. I want to see what happens next. Uh, I still think drawing and quartering Sam sounds like the best idea. Who's with me? Anyone? Guys, can we not be hasty here? I agree with Angela. Whatever we do, we should do it as a group. But I didn't... Anyway, we don't need to decide right this minute, do we? We have to decide before tonight. We're scheduled to go back there. Yeah. Why don't we meet back here at noon? We can make a decision then. Why not? I have nothing better to do with my time. See ya. Noon. I mean, hello? Hello? Who's there, please? Or not? What the? For the love of... Mrs. Dalton! Uh-oh. What the hell is this doing in my desk drawer? That's Houdini. He has a habit of sort of appearing. He? Who told you you could have a pet in this house? He's in my room. I don't see what difference it makes to you. Well, he's not in your room now, is he? This is my home, Miss Everett, and I don't care to have it smelling like a barn. Houdini does not smell. You could have a herd of buffalo in this house for all the use you get out of it. Shh, 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 shh. Hush now. Oh, my goodness. What a to-do about nothing. I'll take him back upstairs and put him in his cage. Put the thing in the garage. No way! He'll freeze out there. Put him in my room, Mrs. Dalton. Sam? Oh, by the way, who's visiting the house today? What do you mean? I saw a woman on the stairs, just now. Blonde, white dress. You saw no such thing. The, the lighting on those stairs is terrible. I keep asking that something be done about it, but no one pays the slightest attention. Bothering poor Dr. Stiles with nonsense like that. Um... 
as if pet rabbits weren't enough. Wow, is that menopause? Samantha, tell me what you saw, exactly. There was a woman walking up the stairs when I came in. I called out, but she didn't stop. There is someone here today. What's the big secret? Never mind. It's nothing that concerns you. What did you learn at university? Dr. Stiles? Yes? The Lambs Club has really worked up. I thought you should know. Lambs Club? Are you planning to put lambs in the parlor now in addition to rabbits in bedrooms and bats in the belfry? That's what the students in the experiment call themselves. You know, as in lost. Or better yet, sacrificial. God help me. What do you mean they're worked up? They're freaked about the track and pool incidents. Some of them might not come back. What? What nonsense. What does it have to do with them, I'd like to know? The conditions of the experiment must remain the same. Those students are your responsibility, Samantha. Getting them here is your job, and I expect you to do it. Right. I investigated the incidents at the track and pool. And? Both were obviously staged. There was a whirlwind at the track that was probably created by a helicopter. That got rid of the maintenance guy. Then they painted the track. As for the pool, what the witness saw was the shape or bubble in the pool, and then the water changed color. It would have been easy to rig up a hose to blow air into the pool for a spooky effect as a misdirect, then drop in the dye. Did anyone see or hear a helicopter? No, but there was only one witness, and he had headphones on. Headphones? And did they find dye in the pool? No, but all they cared about was cleaning the pool. I don't think anyone even checked. There wasn't any trace of dye around the edges of the pool or in the filters, but it was probably water soluble. And why would someone rent a helicopter and gallons of dye and time these incidents with my experiments, which I might add almost no one knows about? I don't know. No, you wouldn't, would you? Because it's all bollocks. I hope your rationalist bias can be put aside, Samantha, because when I ask you to be my eyes and ears, I expect the facts, not your half-baked opinions. If you can't give me that, you're worse than useless. At least I'm willing to go out there. From what I've seen, your eyes and ears work just fine, mister. What are you, 23, 25? When you've experienced something of life, you can lecture me. I'm sorry. Look. I know what it's like when people... I want your report on the events by tonight, and this time, I want the facts. That is all. Hi, Mephistopheles. Miss Everett, how kind of you to visit. I need to talk to you about something. Be my guest. I need to talk to you about something that's going on with my employer, Dr. Stiles. Yes? He's running an experiment in the basement of Dreadhill House. There are six students, and he has us visualize exercising. It seemed harmless, but then things started getting weird. And I couldn't find any traces of dye at the pool, not even in the filters. But I'm not really worried about the pool. It's the track that's the real challenge. Hmm, yes. Being a puzzle man, I find it most intriguing. Oh, but it's not a puzzle. I know exactly what's going on. This is someone's grand game. Someone trying to get into the Daedalus Club. Obviously, there's a magician involved. The wind at the track and the shape in the pool were classic misdirects, distracting the witnesses while the lines were painted and the pool was dyed. Naturally. One would think that. Unfortunately, Stiles is the perfect victim. He's a recluse, and his published articles make it clear that he's a chump for the supernatural. If I got a copy of his experiment plan, anyone could have gotten it. 
Someone is using it to plot these stunts. If it is a game, it's an original one. Brilliant, in fact. Yes. I guess it is brilliant. Brilliant and awful. Do you know of anyone who might be designing a grand game right now? Maybe someone with ties to Oxford? You must know all the magicians in this area. My dear, the club has members from all over the world and thousands of regular customers. There's always someone running a game. Indeed. A solution occurs to me. You yourself are running the game, and telling me is your way of alerting the Daedalus Club. It's not my game! Pity. I liked that solution. But don't you see? People could get hurt. Dr. Styles for one, but also students. The people who've witnessed these events have been terrified. Oh, but being terrified can be thrilling. It gives one something to talk about in old age. In any case, it doesn't sound like any serious harm has been done. Not yet, anyway. But if it truly isn't your game, then I'd suggest you look at the other students in the experiment. You know what they say. There's always a plant in the house. Of course. Of course, you're right. One of them has to be in on it. Thank you. Hi, Angela. Sam, you know about this place too? Oh yeah, it's a great place. Isn't it wonderful? I come here all the time. What are you making? I'm copying the window. Hey, that's good. Very intricate cuts. Where'd you learn to do that? The people on my island have always made paper figures. My father taught me. That island of yours sounds like a happening place. You're lucky. Would you like to have it? God, Angela, you put so much work into it. It relaxes me. And I have lots of them. Are you sure? Thank you. I mean, people don't give me stuff as a rule, so thanks. Why do you like this church so much? It's the fairy chapel. Fairies? Not exactly Church of England, are they? She's right there. That's an angel. Isn't it? No, it's a fairy. Okay. Someone showed me a trick the other day that was really amazing. Do you know any magic? What do you mean? Card tricks, cup tricks, illusions, things like that? <sighs> oh no, that's silly. Excuse me? I like real magic. Like Midsummer Night's Dream? You must know that one if you're in the lit department. Sure. Shakespeare's cool, but I prefer Victorian lit. Anyway, Angela, that's just fiction. It's funny. I was in the lit department before I transferred to nursing. I asked some of my old professors about you, but they've never heard of you. Well, you know, I'm still new here, and I've been keeping a low profile. I sit in the back. I guess that explains it. When I first told you about the experiment, you seemed to know Dr. Stiles. Everyone knows him. But most people have heard those stupid rumors. You didn't seem afraid. Oh no, I've never thought that way about Dr. Stiles. I saw him walking down the street once, and I thought he looked so sad and so handsome. I asked someone who he was, and they said, that's Dr. Stiles, the famous neurobiologist. This was before the accident? No, it was after. And that's all you knew about him? I just knew the rumors couldn't be true. Huh. Sam, are you working for Dr. Stiles? Harvey says that you are. Yeah, I'm staying at Dread Hill. At the house? That's a bad idea, Sam. Why? Oh, uh, people will talk. I don't care. I'm his assistant, that's all. But how did you get that job? He requested someone, and the student employment office sent me over. It's not a big deal, Angela. I know, I... I... It's risky, I mean, with Dr. Stiles' reputation and everything. I hope it works out for you. Thanks. Sam, do you mind if I have some alone time? I need to think about an assignment. Sure. Sorry to interrupt. I'll see you back at the quad later. Okay, I'll see you there.
Angela says it's a fairy. Maybe that's some kind of weird Scottish island speak. Do you know a student named Malik? You mean Dr. Linkweller's teaching assistant? Really? Was there something you wanted to know about him? No. I think I just found out all I need to know. Thanks. Dr. Stiles? Yes? Tell me about you and Dr. Linkweller. I see you've been amusing yourself with gossip, or ancient history, rather. I neither know nor care what Linkweller is up to these days, though I heard he was the keynote speaker at the Göttingen Conference last year. Which just goes to show you the discernment of the academic community. Malik works for Linkweller. He's his grad student. Tough luck for Malik. That doesn't worry you? That he might be reporting back to Linkweller? I have better things to worry about than that windbag. Did you know any of the students before the experiment started? No. Why? Just wondering. I don't think the students have any connection to the incidents. You don't? Why? Just do as you're told, Samantha. <laughs> yeah. I've always been real good at that. He's in there right now. I'd like to take a look around his office, but I need to get rid of him first. It's a phone list for the department. There. So this is Linkweller's extension number. Now I've got all I need. You have reached the Oxford Neurobiology Department in the Radcliffe Infirmary. If you know the extension you wish to reach, please enter it at this time. Linkweller speaking. Mr. Headley wishes to see you. Immediately. Well, what is it now? Oh, never mind. I'm on my way. I won't have long in here. I need to hurry. How did Linkweller score such a primo office? It's even bigger than Headley's. A bunch of doctors doing a dissection. Charming. Linkweller's phone. Wouldn't I love to be a fly on the wall and overhear his conversations?
That should work. Now we'll see what Linkweller's up to. Uh-oh, Linkweller's coming back. Helena, Harvey, Angela, Charles. They all live in this residence hall. Even Malik lives here. Interesting. I think I'll take a little toilet paper. It's good for hiding things. I'm out. I'm not contributing any more to your tuition today, sir. Your luck was just turning. Forget it. I'll be late for class. Room 206. No one I know. Room 204. This is Charles's room. Charles, it's me, Sam, or not. Hi, I was wondering if you'd let me in 204. And why would I do that? He borrowed a book from me and I need it back right away. You want me to break my personal code of ethics for that? <laughs> it won't happen. I'm Charles's girlfriend. I thought I might surprise him. <laughs> You're the third girl this week who claimed to be his girlfriend. How about I let you into my room, huh? And you can surprise me. Mmm, oh so tempting, but no thanks. I'm delivering Girl Scout cookies. Oh yeah? I don't see any cookies. They're really small. <laughs> Those cookies look big enough to me, darling. How about you give me a sample? You're a pig! You're the one who brought it up. He's crying out for a little trickery, but which one should I use? So what's your game? Jin, wanna play? Five pounds a game, and no crying to the authorities if you lose. Gin's okay, I guess. But I've got a faster game. That is, unless you can only play gin. I can beat you at any game invented, sweetheart. What is it? It's called Divide and Conquer. I used to play this game with my brother. He thought he was smarter than I was, and could beat me at everything. My mother used a divide and conquer strategy to solve our arguments. Like having my brother divide up a tray of french fries, and then I would get to choose which plate I wanted. That's stupid. I'd just make one plate look like it had more, but really put more on the other plate. He tried that, but I'd always get the better of him. Either your brother was a halfwit or you're lying. Wanna bet on it? I'll bet 10 pounds each round. If I get to 30 pounds, I win. Okay. Okay, now deal out some cards face up. Anywhere from 5 to 12 cards, your choice.
Damn it! You just obliterated my profit for the week! You have cash? You rigged that game somehow. Too bad you couldn't figure out how. Pay up, please. Wasn't there something else you wanted? Earlier? That's right. I wanted you to let me into Charles's room. Swap? Okay. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, wonderful. Mangas, games, DVDs, totally matching Charles's shyness. Wow, he really is a nerd. I want to believe. I guess Charles has an interest in sci-fi. Nothing of interest in there. It's an issue of Scientific American, with an article by Dr. Stiles. But Charles acted like he'd never heard of Dr. Stiles. He sure had me fooled. Hey, this doesn't look anything like Charles. And it's dated just one year ago. Could Charles Eddington be using someone else's identity? I better take this along as evidence. There. I put the number in my cell phone memory in case I ever need it. That's the bolt of the lock. The lock bolt is controlled by the knob. I think if it's set correctly, the door won't lock when you close it. The entire works of Josephus in Greek, old issues of medical journals. Room 302, Harvey's room. You there, Harv? He's not there. I don't suppose you could let me into room 302. I loaned Harvey Kinderman a camera, and I have to get it back to my AV lab right away. No. Come on. I know you don't normally let people into other people's rooms, but this is urgent. Not to me. He's not going to relent. Damn it. I need to find the right trick. I can do that trick, but I'll need to get set up for it first. Here. That will do nicely. I tuck the help me box into the toilet paper. That should keep anyone from noticing it if they see it lying around.
What is that? That will keep the door from locking when he leaves the room. Good old Harv is kind of a slob. Hey, I remember this movie. Pretty good one. Harvey's got taste. He's got a lot of gear. I guess Daddy isn't totally against the film thing after all. Or Harvey has his own bank account. Guys, they never let go of toys, right? Gee, he's even got pictures of famous directors on his shelf. What's this? Notes for a new film? A mysterious disfigured scientist. A goth girl named Jimmy. Brain-sucking experiments? Is Kinderman pulling these pranks to stage his film? I'm going to find out. And if he is, I'm going to kill that twerp. Harvey's new screenplay sounds a little too familiar. That might lead over to the graduate wing, but an alarm will sound if I open it. Guess I'm not urgently in need of getting over there today. I'd like to get into Helena's room and poke around, but it's locked. There has to be another way. The key! That would have been helpful five minutes ago. <laughs> totally Helena. This is definitely Helena's drawer. There's some paperwork about her student enrollment, but nothing about magic or conspiracy that I can see. I have to admit, I didn't even expect to find books in her room. More than meets the eye? I need a camera for tonight, but I don't want to just take it. Helena would probably let me borrow it if I asked. I don't have time to search her computer, and I don't think I'd find very interesting stuff anyway. It's locked. Why would Helena keep a locked box in her own room? Sam, what are you doing in here? I was just... I wanted to talk to you, and the door was open, so I... Oh, fine. I'm really freaked out about these events on campus. Someone is setting up styles, and I think one of the Lambs Club is involved. So, I'm playing detective. What did you see in here? Nothing. Anyway, you're not exactly at the top of my suspect list. I must be doing something wrong then. Hmm, I might let you live. If you give me the dish on everyone else. Who else have you been snooping on, Sherlock? Do tell, and make it good, and preferably nasty. Well...
Angela knew Dr. Stiles before the experiment. I asked her about it, and she said she saw him walking down the street next to the campus one day, after the accident. But that's got to be a lie. Stiles doesn't come on campus. He won't even leave the house. He's so self-conscious about his face. Maybe she forgot when it was. Maybe. Anyway, that's hardly incriminating evidence. She's too much of an odd bird to be involved with a conspiracy, if you ask me. I found notes for a new screenplay in Harvey's room. Ten guesses what it's about. Us? Yeah, and the experiment. Tell me that's not suspicious. Was there a description of me? Did he mention my nose? He said it was big, didn't he? Helena! I have a right to know. No, his notes were free of comments on your proboscis. Good. Am I the pretty one? It wasn't all that fleshed out yet. Darling, don't get all worked up. It's bad for your complexion. I found this in Charles's room. Oh my god, this is priceless. It doesn't look anything like him. And the date on the back is just one year ago. I think Charles is an imposter. Please, I recognize the mole on his neck. Lovely mole. Of course, it was a bit less lovely at the time. No one can change that much in a year. Maybe it's a younger brother. If Charles had a record, he wouldn't want to register under his own name. One word, hormones. This is definitely Charles. And if he looked like this a year ago, then he probably really is a virgin. God, I feel faint. Can I keep this? No, I might need it as evidence. Evidence of what? Ugly duckling syndrome? Hmm, what a twist. Malik is the grad student of Styles' biggest enemy on campus, a man named Blinkweller. I have a feeling he'd stop at nothing to ruin Dr. Styles. Is he? Now that is suspicious. Not to mention rude. I noticed you have a camera. Would you mind if I borrowed it, just for a day or two? Take it. I never use it. What's the fun of photographs if you're behind the camera and can't be in them? Thanks. We're going to be visualizing weightlifting tonight in this gym. I need to find a way to rig this place so I can catch this jerk red-handed. The gym closes at 11. I'll get here before then and hide. When they lock up, I'll be inside. Brainiac reference books, no doubt. Someone's been using that machine and didn't wipe it off. Ooh, kind of gross. I want to rig the flash powder traps at the doors, but I'll need to assemble them first. There. These flash powder traps are ready to go. That'll work nicely. I'll set it up later after the gym closes for the night. There, now both doors are covered. I think that's everything. If anyone enters this room tonight, the traps will alert me. I'll turn on the lights and snap off some pictures with Helena's camera. This should be very interesting. Huh. 
Hi. Wow. Everyone looks so serious. I get that way during the full moon. Some people do the werewolf thing, but I do Walter Cronkite. Well, it feels momentous, doesn't it? We're agreed, right? We're going to vote. And we'll all either stay in the experiment or quit. Whatever the group vote decides. One for all and all for one. How do we do it? Should we just raise hands? Silent ballot? Do we need that? Does anyone care? I have a suggestion. I know a great way to vote that's democratic, but allows for an element of fate. Plus, it assures that the vote can't be split. Do tell. I'll write down everyone's vote and we'll put them in... a hat. Charles, can we borrow yours? We'll draw one ballot from the hat, and that will be the final decision. Interesting. It's good. Chances will favor the more popular answer, but it still allows everyone a shot. <laughs> like drawing straws. Fate. It allows for fate. I like it. Good. Let's start. Charles, quit the experiment or stay. Quit. Helena? Not that it isn't a barrel of laughs, but quit. I vote quit too. I'm sensing a trend here. I vote stay. Stay. And now me. I vote stay. Good thing we're relying on fate. Who wants to pick? I'd like to. May I? Go on. Stay. That's it then. One for all. And all in deep doo-doo. See you tonight. Bye, Sam. See you. See ya. Bye, Sam. Did you rig that, oh great Sam Eeny? It was a split vote. It could have gone either way. I hope you know what you're doing. Damn it. Oh shit, God. Laura?